I saved the best study for last, guys. So, some psychologists predicted that women would also have a certain kind of aversion at ovulation, specifically for close male relatives, because of incest avoidance, because human populations went through bottlenecks when incest just happened. It was impossible to avoid. But if women had a psychological adaptation to avoid their closest relatives when they were ovulating, then their offspring would have been, on average, more robust. How could you test for this instinct in females? They sequestered the mobile phone bills of college-aged women in America, highlighted their dad's phone number, and cross-referenced the date of the call with their fertility cycle. Fuck, they're so clever, those psychologists. Hey, do you think they found anything? Yes, they did. Women who are ovulating answer the phone less frequently if the caller is their dad than at other times of the month. You can look at the phone bill and see the fluctuation in the frequency of answering the bloody phone. So we're not taking uh, science on faith in this show. We are testing it ourselves. Who do you think I'm calling? Any guesses? <laughs> not my dad. Very astute, sir. <laughs> Who is it? My sister. Very good. Very good. Yeah, sometimes people say my mother. She's most reproductive. Sometimes people say my daughter. How fucking old do you think I am? <laughs> calling my sister. She's in Canada. It's 8.30 in the morning. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my uh, myself and my DJ and this whole crowd here applaud your patience and for, for, you know, sort of for tenacity. Patience mean the sources in the house. <laughs> what do you call it if a sister puts up with a phone call every single day? Loveliness. <laughs> Loveliness. <laughs> All right. Loveliness. All right. You got. You want to say hi to the dog? On? No crowd. <laughs> Everybody say hi, Don. Hi, Don. Well, this crowd definitely applauds your love news for participating in a science experiment like this. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> the loveliness is on the way. <laughs> that's okay, because um, you know, there's only two days left after today. No, that's enough. I don't this being over or are you gonna, you're gonna miss talking to me every day? <laughs> Just sort of blends into my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream that someone phoned me from a festival with a massive crowd. <laughs> oh wow. Um, yeah, it's been really great chatting to you every day. And um, the crowds have been very amused. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Well, uh, okay, have a nice, have a nice rest. Go away to sleep. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Say bye, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs> Yes, she did answer today. <laughs> At the end of the month, we should be able to use this calendar to predict her peak fertility, right? It's, it's looking fairly likely that it's here. But if it, it turns out to be a mostly average pattern, then I'm going to predict she's on the pill, which I don't know. She might be. One way or another, she has a great sense of humor. Don't worry. <laughs> so at the end of the month, this calendar goes on my website. And... <laughs> And um, potentially I get my ass kicked when I go back to Canada. But she's a willing participant. She said, why are you running this experiment? I said, can I call you every day in the show? She said, why do you want to call me every day? I said, it's a science experiment. She said, what are you testing for? And I said, well, if I told you, that would ruin the experiment, wouldn't it? And she was like, okay. <laughs> so anyway, the ethics have been taken care of. <laughs>